guys how you all doing welcome back to the channel in today's video we're starting a brand new uh, series here we have this um, I don't know if you want to call it shed or beach house but um, here we have to we have some permic and stone man-made stone here that we are about to lay right around this building here we're gonna go right up underneath this um, this is where our sill is gonna be we're gonna come right here with our sills and then from here on we're gonna go with brick this is a special brick that we're going to lay here so stay tuned for that after the stone work um, it's a concrete brick and I have a, as you know, concrete brick is a bit different uh, technique you have to use to lay them than, than the clay brick in my opinion it's the same procedure but a little bit of different technique as you go I will share with you guys all of that coming up in the video as well but for today I just want to give you a walk through and show you what we are about to do in, um, in this upcoming video but if you're new here, my name is Ryan, and be sure to subscribe if you like these type of contents. We do brick block, stone, interlock, paver, concrete, carpentry, plumbing, you name it. We do it all on this channel. So be sure to be a part of the team. I'd love to have you on board. So with no further ado, let's dive right into the video. I want to take you around and show you what we're about to do today. So as you see, we have our stone layout here. Uh... So we're going this is this is the building that we have here it's a bit windy guys so you're gonna hear a lot of wind in the background bear with me with that so like i said we're gonna go up around three feet from the ledge we'll go up and then we're gonna continue on with bricks just go right over like this come around This section we're gonna go around here with stone three feet same way three feet go right around bricks on the top sill in the middle of the the bricks on the stone and we came right back around where we started so this is it should take us no more than a week or so to complete this this is our stone we have it set up here we have our motherboard here, we have one over there, now we're ready to start. Okay guys, so we're going to start this video right now. I don't want to keep you guys waiting no longer. But before we jump into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That's all I'm asking you for. It takes a lot of effort to make this video for you guys to view and learn from. You can learn from it. So give it a thumbs up so that it helps the algorithm to, to, to send the video out there so that others can view and learn from as well. Let's dive right into it. Okay guys, we're gonna start by the table. Guys, so this is basically how it look. This this is gonna be out here after it. After it, I'm just gonna fold that over. That's basically how it's supposed to look. Go right along. Now we're gonna start our stone in, our stone work. Start. 
one of the first thing you want to do guys, you want to check to see um, if you're working for a height, which you might get some work even on my silk right underneath here. So what I did, I made her from right here where I want my silk to finish. I made her three inches, which is my seal, and I put another, uh, I put a half inch, I go three and a half. And then what I did from here, you could either do, you could either measure from here one feet, go all the way down or you could go the biggest size stone we have is 11 and a half you could put 11 and a half then you put a half an inch joint you do it this way and then you put another 11 and a half a half an inch joint and then you measure from here to see if you need to cut you put your cut down here so right here we don't we don't we have one inch one inch extra so what i'm going to do i'm going to put a half an inch here and then i'm going to work up and try and put a half an inch right underneath here rather than to go right up up here with our stone that way we don't have to cut any stone go right along the entire thing so that's basically how we're gonna work this one out so as you see guys what i'm doing right now i'm spraying the bottom along the entire thing this way by the time i get up there it's a little bit more harder which is just what i want the stone that we're using is a three dimension stone. I like to put a small one down here to start off. I'm going to start with a small one right here. Okay, so sometimes you might gonna run into in certain cases where your ledge is only like two and a half or three inches. So what you want to do in, in a case like this, you want to put your stone right here and from here you want to measure out four and a half four and a half inches. So you want to bring this stone out around four and a half inches. Just like that. So from, from your wall to the, the edge of the stone, one half, four and a half. So that's where we're gonna have this one. So as you see we have our own one inch come over here. That's fine. Another thing you could do you could bring in your first one and then step the second one over. But I'm not gonna do that in this case. So that's an option for you as well. Have that one over four and a half inches. You want to put your level there. Level that one, level up around. That That's the same result as in plumbing it. What I like to do as well, I like to put a stone, like a wedge temporarily, right underneath the first one here. So that we have it nice and sturdy. And when the weight goes on it, it won't, it won't tilt over and throw you off level. So that's something you can do as well if you feel like you feel like you want to do that. Here we have one small. We're just gonna put another one right here. We also want to put a wedge on it here as well. Like I said, that's temporary. Okay, so we're gonna remove our, our wedge. We're just gonna put it level first and then put our leg afterwards. We can go find our next shot level, Christopher. Oh, Bring him right down to the leg. Coming up, I'm gonna show you a technique that I learned over the years. Oh yeah, we just put the level all as we go. This track here, we want to have half an inch here. Try to get this one to go down to the bottom of this one and 
same over here as well. So you want to punch it all up. We're going to have everything catch back to the same level. Give that in mind. So we're going to find this one now. Pour that to get your first roll. Right? We'll go to the end level. So what I'm doing here, looking for right now, I'm looking to make sure that my joint at the bottom is level. I'm going to leave a whipping hole here, but I like to fill it up and later on I go back and clean it out. In this way, the wall is more sturdy being as it's the first course. You can leave it now if you want, but I like to leave it. I like to do it afterwards. That's just my personal preference. Wow. We're just going to continue on for around three feet and then we're going to break it. This is, what I, this is what I mean in a sec. This one is going to go right here. And after this one, we're going to break it. Have a great one right here, no worry about Make sure it's nice and level. Beautiful. Check this way. Make sure everything is in line. So now we have around three feet from here, and now we need to put a different size from here on the one. We need to put another three feet of different size. So we go ahead and put three feet. Different medium now, as you do. We have small, we're gonna put a medium now. And remember, guys, you wanna try to put this one here to match the one that's already there. It's very important. You'll see what I mean in a minute. You'll see what, it, what, what I mean by having this one match with this one as you go. Very important. So put that one, you wanna go to. Put your level, make sure it's nice and level. Wow, I don't even need to touch it, guys. Give Ryan a thumbs up for that. Come on, what are you waiting for? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Put a bit of mala here again. I'm just gonna put one more medium here. This way that I'm showing you how to lay the stone is the easiest way you can lay stone Go anywhere and I saw like this and people will think that you have 10 year experience. Trust me. Take it from Ryan. Show your feeler joint as you go. So as you see here it's two feet. We need to put one more stone here. Yes, any stone after one run of it. Once you get the level eleven up. Okay, good. So once you level now, you can put any small or medium. Okay. And you don't want to go either, you don't want to go small, small to around three feet. Once you go small, small, three feet, level it up, then you go three medium to continue. All right, you want to go medium, then you go small, whichever one works. Okay. okay, guys, so now we're going to butter our face of our stone. As you see, I paste it first, and then I go like that. That's basically how you butter your stone. I'm just going to put this one right here now. Remember, it's very important for you to the bottom Because we don't want to go no longer than four feet for our bed joint. So now what we're going to do now, we just put a different size here. So this bed joint can't go any longer than the three feet that it is right now. This is what I mean in a second. Keep on watching. Change your plan, guys. I'm going to do it like this. I think it will look better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We can go three, we can go up to four. The more. The more. Right. Yeah. So we can put one more, one more medium, one more small letter, and then we can turn over the medium. Guys, we're trying to get this one down to the bottom of the existing one that's already laid. Another one there. I'm just gonna fill it out and then afterwards I put my uh, I put my level. Now that I have my first layout, I want to give you guys a walk through and show you what it looks like. You see there, turn this corner here, we go here, we go medium around three feet, then we break it again, we put small, and then in the corner we have two big. Like I said, you do it like this, and anywhere you're going late like this, you will get away. Meet the big man. <laughs> this is my, uh, my new bricklayer. He's an apprentice, he's learning the work, so pretty sure yeah, I give him like two weeks and he's gonna be a super professional. He said it's really quick. Go on, tilt over like this, so maybe you put, need to put a little bit of. Okay guys, what I wanna do here now, I wanna put a few brick ties here and secure the bottom, and then we're gonna continue on. The way you wanna place the brick tie, you wanna bend it in the middle. Do another one. This is the brick tie, you wanna bend it right here. You want to bend it right here, just like that. Just like a 90, and you just put it on. You're just going to try to space them 16 inches on the center. We're trying to put a brick tie in each of the studs as we go. One stud right there. We know one is at this corner. This one we're going to have to knock the wall in order to find it. And over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go 16 inches apart. Another one here, 16 inches apart. We're just going to keep our be the same thing as we go. Now that we have all our brick ties bent 90 degree, and they're ready. Now we're just going to go ahead and nail them in place. You want to put the nail in the last hole in the bottom of the brick tie. This way it holds better. A lot of guys up top here because it's easier to nail but putting it down here the brick tie holds no tension in our machine. So for the one here we gotta bang it to hear the sound on the inside to know whether or not there is any studs there. So we need to knock it right here I know there is a spot. Last hole on the bottom guys. We have studs, we don't want to put it in the plywood, we want to find the studs and put it in. Alright. Okay, so now that we have our brick tie secure, it's ready to go. Now we're gonna go again and put more water. Either as we have here, we have a small long side here. We can either put a medium right to here, or we can put a big one. Either one works. But um, I'm gonna put a right here. I'm just gonna put a big one. Come to around here. Okay, so let's put a big one right here now. We have this big lady right here close to me. She's asking me if I could put her in place. So I said yes. Why not? You're closer than the rest. So I decided to put her in place. Now I'm only going to have three feet right here, guys. If you are ready, you might going to need to put a few line in the corner right here. From the wall, from mine. I don't need that. I'm only going up three feet high. I don't need a plumb line there. I really need 
Guys, 